You know, chicken, I use it primarily in the soup for the dogs. Some nice looking fish there. I've got a bag of their, their little vitamin packs. So uh, we've been working on cutting up food drops for the last several days, uh, pretty hardcore. So just wanted to take a look at what we've got processed so far. At this point, we just got a few days left till food drops. We haven't yet started putting in things in the big bags, but the idea is to get them all rendered down into the little bags so then we can assemble our food drop setup. So um, I kind of got it color coordinated. So these are eight pound bags of uh, pup mix, which is kind of a, a primarily beef blend. This is two teams worth of, worth of meat. Then these guys here, all these green bags are salmon, which, uh, here we go. You can see we got them sliced up kind of thin. Some nice looking fish there. Pretty much all the meat snacks in all these bags you see are gonna be cut up into something about that thick and about this size. So we're looking at a couple thousand pounds of, you know, less than quarter ounce steaks for a lot of it. Some of it's closer to a third or even a half a pound. After the salmon, we got the chicken. You know, chicken, I use it primarily in the soup for the dogs, not so much as a snack, mostly beef and salmon for snacks. Um, so the chicken's in a little bit smaller packages. It's gonna go in the cooler. Over here, we have a whole bunch of um, chicken skins. So kind of the fatty outer layer of the chicken. It's got protein, got fat, dogs love them because of the high fat content, even when it's really cold out, it doesn't freeze super hard, making it a really nice snack. The mountain of orange here, this is beef, just straight up, I think it's a uh, 80-20 beef protein fat. Lots of beef. Next we have the mountain <laughs> of dog food. These are pre-packaged, basically meal size bag of, of dog food. I think it's a little more than a two gallon Ziploc bag. So it's quite a lot of dog food. A lot of times I won't use all of that if the team, you know, if I have less than 14 dogs or just depending, it just gives me enough to have choices. Numerous boxes underneath there of beef fat. This stuff is ground ground beef fat, a really nice, again, a human grade beef fat. So if, if you took a, a wild game animal to the processor and they were gonna mix in beef fat to get enough fat into your moose to make a hamburger, that's the fat that they would have mixed in. But we ground it, make that nice little package of fat there. and. So again, in cold temperatures, that's gonna go into their soup. I can feed it to them as a snack on the ground. Generally, I'll put that in their soup. Over here, we still have a few more of these to make up. This is like a, an oil fat blend. It's pretty much just straight fat, but it's several different types of oils and fats, both plant and animal based. And we'll melt that into the cooler for the dogs. Here we've got some clay, which is something I use for digestive health with the dogs. Basically it helps absorb toxins out of their system so they don't have to process it. Here we've got our little psyllium bags, just a fiber. If you start having some, again, digestive issues. Uh, this is a prebiotic, a liquid prebiotic, which helps support healthy gut microbes. <laughs> Down here, I've got a bag of their, their little vitamin packs. Has all sorts of just basic multivitamins in there. Same stuff we use every day in the dog yard. We're almost done. We've got a little bit more meat cutting to do. Had some generator trouble, so we're, our cutting time last night got cut short because <laughs> uh, our generator wasn't wanting to work properly. The last few big things I got to do is get all the booties packaged up. My personal food is already all prepped. Thanks to Daisha for that. <laughs> she got all my meals cooked up. Um, Anyway, personal food and personal bags is prepped and ready to go. I uh, got a few last pieces, like I said, booties, runner plastic, things like that that I'm putting together. And once that's all set, we're going to line up the, the big bags for each individual checkpoint. And then we'll grab, you know, two beefs, you know, one chicken, one salmon, one pup mix, um, one chicken skins, a dog food, a fat bag, you know, and, and just kind of go down the roster and throw each of those into those, uh, those specific checkpoint bags. And that's kind of the process for this. Um, kind of crunch time. We only got, a, like I said, a couple days left until it's food drop delivery day. Uh, and it'll be really nice to have that behind us. That's for sure. But we'll keep you posted on the process.